Hey everyone, my name is Katie. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm doing a really cool, really textured, colorful checkerboard art DIY. I have everything you need to make the DIY listed in the description box down below. The frame is optional. I chose a walnut frame because it makes it look even more expensive and I thought that a little touch of walnut made it look even more mid-century. I do interior design and home staging for work and I can vouch for the fact that this art looks really expensive, really designy, and I would hang it in just about any home. It's absolutely beautiful and and I'm obsessed with it. Frame was definitely the most expensive part. It was $30. I will link it below in case you decide that you want to frame the art, but you definitely don't need to. It looks really good without the frame. I live in San Diego and I do a lot of interior design content, a lot of home decor content, some San Diego day in the life type of vlogs. So if you're interested in that kind of content, then please subscribe to my channel and I hope you enjoy the video. Here's what you're going to need. A blank canvas of any size. I used a 12 by 12 canvas, which I found worked out really well proportionally with this little spatula that I used for the spackling. This actually comes with the spackling. So I used this spackling. Any paint that you want. I love this bright blue. I feel like it's so trendy right now and just looks so good with checkerboard. I like this acrylic brand too. And then a paintbrush. I thought the shape of this one was really nice. It says three fourths if that means anything to anyone. I thought this was really good for honing out the squares. I also used a trash bag which I will repurpose to cover my countertop in case I make any spills for example. This is the walnut frame I ordered. It took me a really long time to find a frame that would work for this project. It's 12 by 12 and I think it looks really beautiful. I'm taking this little spatula that came with the spackling and I'm putting about this much spackling on there. You have to really press the spackling into the canvas. It's kind of hard to get it to stick. At first I didn't think it even would stick, but you just have to apply pressure and really smash it on there and press it in. And it will definitely stick, just apply some pressure. Don't worry about going in any sort of straight line or any sort of order here. You really just need the texture for this art piece to look beautiful and expensive. Any size canvas will work too. The paint is what's going to create the checkerboard look, so just do the best you can to create some little squares with the spackling and don't try to make it look perfect. Okay, now I'm totally finished with all the spackling and I'm going to let it dry overnight. I didn't have time to get to painting yesterday, so it's been a couple days. The spackling is super dry. I just put down a trash bag so I don't spill paint all over my countertop, and I'm gonna start drawing out the checkerboards. of paint is complete. It's showing up a lot darker right now on camera than it really is. You can kind of see the white through the blue squares. I've actually decided not to paint the textured part white. I want to leave it really raw and like and just chunky looking because I love it. You can see right here where there's like a little bit of white peeking through the blue. So I'm about to add a second coat to the blue squares. The goal here is to be really messy. Like I want the paint to look really textured. So I'm not trying to be perfect here. Like I'm just trying to give the illusion of checkerboard with a ton of texture. That's what makes it look really expensive and like artistic and designy. Don't try to make it perfect. You see a theme going on here? <laughs> Just to give you a little context about how long this has taken, after I put the spackling on the canvas, I let it just cure and dry for a couple of days, but I'm sure you could get away with just one day. I just didn't have time to do it the next day. And then I put one coat of paint on and I let that dry for a day because I did a lot of like lumps of paint and I wanted to make sure it was dry all the way through. And now that I've done my last and final coat of paint, so two coats total, I'm gonna let this dry until tomorrow and then I'm gonna put it in the frame. If there's any places you wanna add a little bit of extra 
texture to or if you accidentally get a little bit of blue paint like I did right there just go in with your spackle and put some on your finger and add texture or cover up any places that you want to cover or add more texture to the spackle kind of like pops off at all which I had like a couple little pieces pop off I think like down here you can just go in and like add it wherever you want it doesn't matter the frame I ordered for this canvas is just a little bit too deep which is no problem at all because I have some tapes like really really strong and I'm just gonna put a couple layers of red tape right here to give the canvas a little bit more depth and it will definitely hold and stick the tape is so strong so I'm just gonna like end up sticking the canvas to the frame chance so I decided that I'm going to put it on the back of the canvas just to be safe I don't think it's necessary but since I have it I might as well use it and listen this is a DIY like do what you got to do to make it work I put a couple layers of tape down to give it a little bit more thickness so the canvas will stick out more just figure it out until it works it's like literally what life is all about looking stunning. I am going to give it some time for the glue to dry, maybe even overnight. It's a perfect fit. I like how there's just like a little bit of a lip. Here's the back. I could not be happier. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to hang it up. for watching this video please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe and i will catch you in the next one bye